Welcome back. You're watching Right to Be Heard Town Hall Season 2. Can we have a round of applause for our guest, Mr. Kapil Sibal, please? Uh, Mr. Sibal took on some very straight and direct questions and answered them as best he could. There are lots of more questions to go. The gentleman over there. Uh, Kapil, you just said that we are not following our presidential system. But at the same time, when we are coming from JNU to this place, everywhere in Delhi, there are big, big banners, posters where Rahul Gandhi is there. Everywhere he's talking about main nahi hum, something of that sort. Nowhere talking about the policies of government. Everywhere we are seeing uh, Rahul Gandhi, and that's why we are asking direct questions to him. And I wonder, as a as a youth, if I'm about to choose him, this guy who's making statement about Muzaffar Nagar, saying that ISI agents are there and all that, and just endorsing the whole Islamophobia which is going on, and this person who came to JNU, I very well remember. We asked a very simple question. He was the ex. Uh, 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 he, we asked a question that what about right to education bill, which you are basically bringing in. And he said, I just don't know. So I really wonder. This guy, he is there in that place because he's Gandhi. Nothing else. I, 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 I'm seriously have doubt about he being our next prime minister candidate. You said that Congress is delivering. Yes, you are delivering. You are delivering us uh, Commonwealth Games corruption. You are delivering us two G corruptions. That's all is there. Okay, so you've asked a question. Let him answer. No, no. What? See, he is the manager of the campaign of the Congress party. He is the vice president of the party. So obviously if there are posters, obviously his, his face will be there because he represents uh, the, the party in that sense of the word. Now when he says, main nahi hum, what does that mean? That the Congress ideology is togetherness. What's wrong with that? That's an ideological message. You may not agree with it, but main nahi hum is a good ideological message. We have delivered for the hum. The minimum wage in this country has gone up to, to 150 rupees, which never was there before. Under Manrega, people get 100 rupees, 100 days of employment. Never in the history has it happened. Poverty has come down. It was coming down at the age of 0.74%. It has come down under our regime under, in, the, in the percentage of 1.75%. People have, people have more money in their pockets. I mean, so much has happened. You come into this Delhi 10 years ago, Delhi didn't have a world class airport. Delhi didn't have a metro. No, but we look at metros, the question he raises, class. sir. Rahul is being projected because as the face of the campaign, and it seems by looking at the Congress ads that it is the Congress which is in opposition and Modi is the one who is the Prime Minister. Because it seems to be the opposition attacking Modi. I'll Man tell you what. Hum is what? No, is what is the Modi? other attack? You are Josh, not a divisive figure. Yeah. Jo torta nahi, you are Josh. Nah, torta nahi, torta nahi is Modi. With it? That's the charge. The but charge it, is that Modi it is, is divisive. Well, it is divisive. He is divided. But why is Modi the centerpiece of your attack? Because he is the one who is attacking us, so we are attacking him. Sir, What's wrong with that? Because you should be the ones who, sh who are tom toming what you are saying, the issues that you've been talking about. Instead of that, what that gentleman says is right. The campaign is about Rahul's I personality. I don't think you have to agree or disagree with him. No, you are an anchor. What he's, you are an anchor. No, he's raising no, what, a question. You are an anchor. You can't say right or wrong. No, what what he said, he has said. I have to answer it. He's That's raising all. a question. Yeah. The campaign seems he to be about Rahul's the, personality. Yeah. Yeah. And he's what, saying, what is about Rahul's, Rahul's personality, personality that is about him Jordana of being and not Torna? This is so what is an attack projecting. on Modi. Well, why? It's the Congress Party's ideology. It no, has been the Congress but Party's also ideology an on Modi. for the last 50 years. If Modi was not the Prime years, Minister and candidate, second. you wouldn't have Congress had Congress Party's ideology for 60 years has been Jordana, not Torna. It has been more than 60 years of independence. Then why isn't uh, Congress able to charm the youth? Why well, I, for 60 years, how many years have we ruled, been, so been in power? Many times time? Congress second, has been. Second. Why? Because people have confidence in us, not in the opposition. Look at the history of this country. The opposition came to power for the first time in 1977 when people thought that Congress was over. In 1979, they were thrown out of power by the very people who, 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 who elected that, that party. There the BJP was in the opposition, the Janta Dal. Then Congress was thrown out in power in 1989, when v, uh, 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 VP Singh came to power and became Prime Minister. Within two years, that government fell. People again came back to us. Then the Congress went out of power in 1999, 2004. Again, there was the India Shining campaign. Against the people came back to us. Obviously, it means that at some level, the people feel that the Congress party is the party that can deliver. Otherwise, why would people give confidence to us? Why would people vote for us? And if you think that this has happened, now that it has happened, some elections have taken place and we have lost, you think that it's the end of the Congress party? 
or that Congress, people of India don't have faith in the Congress party, you will be mistaken. Events in the future and the near future will tell that people still have faith in this party because we are the only party that jodos and does not todo. But why do you get defeated so badly in the assembly? Arre, come on, we won, won the last three assembly elections. No, but in Delhi now. How did we win? How did we win Uttarakhand? How did we win Uttarakhand? How did we win Uttarakhand? How did we win Karnataka? How did Sheila Dixit win three so times in Delhi? This, One second, you please answer me. For three times in Delhi is because we were destroying Delhi. Means Sheila Dixit won three times in Delhi, which is a record, because we were destroying Delhi. Or because Sheila was delivering for Delhi. Because we have lost one election, you think it's the end of the Congress party? I'm, it's very, very unfortunate. No, no one's thinking that. No, no, but, but you see the whole tenor of this whole debate is that. No, but they're asking Don't worry, Congress are... will deliver because Congress is wedded to taking this country forward.